What's up everybody? So this is Sirens of New Jersey here bringing to you another video. So it has been a little while since I made a video. I do admit that. I have been busy with online schooling with this COVID-19 situation. Let's just hope that this COVID-19 will go away soon. Or let's just hope it'll go away before summer. At least. Or at least before next year. Yeah. So we're here today because I'm going to show you what I have been doing with the SK6324 here. You remember this panel from the system test videos. This was the panel that I replaced a NAPCO panel with. So this is just a little demonstration. I don't have any horns or horn strobes hook up to this unfortunately because my parents are home and I don't want to piss anybody off. So I'll just show you what I have here. I just have my X side light here, simplex pool station, and I didn't know I could do this, but after checking this one video out, I was so happy and I did it and it worked. You probably wonder why I have the sync module here from Simplex. That's because that's right, you can hook it up to the panel, which is so awesome. Except you gotta set it on continuous, so this is hooked up to NAC number one. Uh, and NAC number one is set on continuous, and NAC two, which is what the uh, X side light is hooked up on, is set to code three. I finally figured out how to program it to code three or steady or continuous. It only has two codes, that's so code three and continuous. All you gotta do is just use these dip switches here. So, without a further ado, we're gonna go ahead and just activate the pool station, which is the simplex T bar. So, here we go in three, two, one. These true alerts sync up very well thanks to the sync module. Also earlier on I did hook up the Wheelock AS up to this. Well, this is before my parents got home, but yeah. So let's go ahead and reset the pool station. There we go. So I did hook the Wheelock AS up to this along with the true alerts. And the Wheelock AS actually synced up with the True Alerts pretty well. And if you hook up the Wheelock AS up with another Wheelock device like the NS, you can get you can get that to sync up. But unfortunately, it won't work with the MT. You can hook the strobe, the Wheelock MT strobe, up to these though, and it'll sync up with the horn. Not really. So this is pretty much a little preview of what I'm going to set up again. Now you're probably wondering why the X side light here doesn't, you can't see the light shining through the sides here. Well, I will explain. So let's go ahead and silence that. Unfortunately, there's no audible silence, which sucks. So, let's just say that I took this uh, X-Side light apart and I put reflectors in, homemade reflectors, from an old CD that I don't use anymore. That's right. What I did, I cut some slits out so I can set them in here and I also put some uh, CD squares right next to the light back here. And it works very well. I thought it wouldn't work, but after looking at this one video, I forgot who it was from. Um, you can get more light from that when you put the reflectors in, and it's incredibly bright. It really is. So, pool stations reset, and let's reset the panel. There you go. And sorry if the strobe is a little dusty. <laughs> 
So, that is pretty much all that there is to it. So, this is just a little preview of what I'm going to be setting up in the future. Now, what I do plan on getting as far as alarms, I do want to get a Siemens UMMT, a Siemens remote strobe, Wheelock ZRS, ZNS, Wheelock RSS, and a Wheelock MT4 24, or an EH or an or would work. I also want to get an EH, Wheelock EH. Hopefully when this coronavirus, um, hopefully when this coronavirus will end soon, I should be able to do whatever. Now before I go, I'm actually working on this new device. So, do you remember that homemade mini horn that I made? It, it was just a mini horn and a plate. Well, I decided I recreate that. So, right here, I have this. You probably remember this from another system test video. I actually have more of these key stations. I forgot where I put them. Oh, well, here's one of them. Here, wait, I found one. And then I had another key station here. But I decided I'd take the key out of this and just use this as a plate. And what I did, I sanded the normal and on and normal lettering off. So I can just make this resemble that it's a fire alarm. So what I'm going to do is use this, is this piezo element and throw it back here. Or glue this behind there. Just like what I did with another light switch plate. Like this. And yeah. And also down the road I do want to drill a hole here and put a red or white LED here. So that's